Yo, what up, what it is, and what it do. This is your favorite cousin, and I'm back with another banger. If you are new, new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you can be notified when your favorite cousin posts another video. If you've been here before, you're one of my cousins, welcome back. Prepare before us, we got a little jack in the box. Now, this is a bacon, baconator burger or something of that caliber. Come on, don't fail me now. Yep, hit them with a little bit of, can you see it? Oh, you know what? I'm going to get this camera down one day. Maybe not today, fellas. A taco and some chicken tenders. That little hot and spicy chicken tenders. I was a little hungry today. I really wasn't going to record today. I did not feel like recording today. It was just one of them days. But yeah, here we are, cuz. Now, it's been a long weekend. <laughs> Girl, we're going to talk about it, ain't we? We're going to talk about it. If you hear something in the background, I got company. I don't want to make them turn down the TV. Y'all know how I feel about when I have company. I'm not going to make them turn down the TV. So, now, is it crooked? Hit with a little bit of and a good old root beer from Jack in the Box. I said, "Wow, what's this a root 44? <laughs> anyway, now bow it, bow it, cause I, I didn't already told you anything attached to me shall win. Bow it, cause bow it. Let me see. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Girl, sometimes I guess on this camera, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm... <sighs> bow it. Lord God, thank you so much for the blessings that you have stored upon us and the ones that we have yet to see. Thank you, Lord God, for letting us see another beautiful Monday. Lord God, thank you so much for the veterans that have sacrificed their life to let us be here on this happy Memorial Day, Lord God. I just ask you to let this food bless and nourish my body and let my subscribers have an amazing week, as you always do. We know that through you, all things are possible. We give you all of the glory and all of the praise in your name, I pray. Amen. Ting! Now, I know you guys hate this camera close up. I happen to love it. I think this is what I'm gonna stick with. If I can get these angles and this food right, then that's what we're gonna do. I like it. Anyway, now, I feel like I forgot something in the intro. What did I forget? How's my hair? I don't know, cuz I'm here. You like my shirt? Oh, hit him a little bit of. Cuz, 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 hit him a little bit of. <laughs> Shout out to Destiny for the shirt. Now, let's go ahead and get into this bite. Let's bow it. Not bow it. <laughs> let's go ahead and get into this bite. Wow, that's pretty good. Mm. Wow, I don't really eat Jack in the Box for undisclosed purposes, but here we are. I got some cuz I got it. Mm. I love me a root beer. I'm gonna someone with chin, feel it. I'm gonna give me a mirror to put right here. Yes, I am. They like bacon. It's not like mayonnaise, I know. Mayonnaise, they sauce. It looks like some um some of that white cheese. Don't know what that is. My my maybe it's mozzarella. I don't know because a little taco for the little. That's good. Come on. I mean, yes, I did, did it. Yes, I did. Nice when you can go to a restaurant and get a hamburger, taco, and some chicken donuts. I said, Well, wow, yes, you can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Honey mustard, cuz. Wow. That's just gonna get me full. Now I got a little hunger earlier. And I had already been bit off this one here, I ain't know. <laughs> yes, I did. I little hunger. Let me see. I ain't never had Jack in the Box uh, honey mustard. Let me see. Wow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's going to be a short video here. Yes, it is, because. Presentation. Mm -hmm. I just came here to eat. It's a dip. <laughs> These are spicy. And Lord knows I don't need no more spicy in my life, do it. No, I do not. We're gonna talk about that in a minute too. We're gonna talk about it. We have a group discussion behind it. <clears throat> this is good. Do you guys have? Is this straight? OCD. Do y'all have Jack in the Box? Where y'all from? I feel like Jack in the Box would be like in Texas and California and states like that. Because we don't have them in Mississippi. No, we do not. And girl, this is a gift. This it is. This is a gift. Wow. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Wow. We're we'll on time. We gotta go. We gotta go. Monday. And I'm gonna go enjoy my day. Let me tell you something. They gave me the day off right now. I'm gonna go enjoy it. I don't know why they gave me the day off. No, I do not. However, I do want to say some food. I'll jump this out. I do want to say, man, shout out to, man, everybody in the military, all the veterans, uh, the wives of veterans, the husbands of veterans, the people that are making that sacrifice so my lazy behind doesn't don't have to do it. I really commend you. Uh, that takes a sacrifice. That takes courage. That takes strength. That, that, and, and that's something to be admired for. So thank you guys for your service. Thank, thank you to the wives and the husbands who sit at home while their uh while their spouse goes and fight for our country thank you guys for inviting my heart um i don't think i could do it so i just want to say thank you for for making that sacrifice for doing it man that, that takes a lot of courage and i appreciate you yes i really do excuse me so if you are watching this right now and you're in the military or you're the spouse of somebody in the military because oh thank you man because i'll salute you from the bottom of my heart thank you thank you that's a sacrifice I don't think that I could ever do, man. That takes a lot of heart. Now. I ate a little bit. <laughs> I'm getting comfy because I didn't have a long weekend. I'm glad I had a long weekend. Let me get comfy. I'm to take about this, I know. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> you ready? What's on my face? No. No. All right. Anybody follow me on Snapchat? <laughs> Anybody follow me on Instagram? All right, let's talk about it. Friday night, girl. My phone. Let me see. My phone. Oh, all right. 
girl, <laughs> I think I'm a little bougie now. I can check my phone and I got a camera. And <laughs> I'm gonna leave the phone over there where it said. Anyway, girl, Friday. I'm gonna tell you the whole truth and nothing but the truth, cuz. I had went to the store to get me some sage right now. I went over there to get me some sage. But you know, I love burning my sage. Cause I've been trying to get them negative vibes out of here. I know. Wanna give me some sage? And girl, stomp it up on some CBD oil. If you don't know what CBD oil, it is total legal functioning. <laughs> I don't know if I should call it paraphernalia. Nope, I can't call it that. It is legal, uh, legal oil that gives you a body high. Yes, it do. Yes, it did. <laughs> Girl, I got one. If you know me, you know I don't I don't participate in the legal festivities. No, I don't. Uh -uh. No, cuz. I don't I don't smoke. Only thing I do is is I drink a little bit, I know. I drink a little bit. Girl, that C B D oh Ain't nobody told me about that. No, they did not. No, they didn't. They didn't tell me about it. So all day. You know, the frat house was gone. I needed adult supervision. They was gone for like three days. Just a deal. I'm too grown to act like this, I know. Yes, I am. And so all day I'm here cleaning up. Some food. Puffing on a little vapor with the CBD oil. Not knowing that I would pay for it later. <laughs> Girl, I was high as Cooter Brown. I said, is this legal? <laughs> Am I gonna lose my job? I be right here participating in festivities. Like, I don't have a job. You need it, you need it. I need my job, yes I do. I didn't know that CBD oil was gonna do that to me. Nobody told me nothing. Then that's my problem. I don't read labels like, no I do not. I don't read them, no I don't. I don't need to do a better job on reading labels. Girl, that CBD oil. Excuse me, cuz. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> that CBD oil. It made me feel like a new woman. It made me feel like a new woman. Um, girl. Ain't nobody told me about that CBD oil. I can't even explain it to you right now. I, I reached a level that I never knew that I could reach. I know. No, I didn't. I, I reached a level that I didn't know that I can go to. I know. No, I did not. And it wasn't like... How do I keep this kid friendly? It wasn't nothing like adult puff puff would make you feel. Because I don't like adult puff puff. No, I do not. I don't like the way it makes me feel. Now, if you like it, cuz, teach us all. I'm not going to judge you. No, I'm not. However, I don't participate in those type of festivities because I don't like those type of festivities, cuz. But girl said, wow, this what I've been missing? I didn't know. No, I didn't. I said, I can't smoke this on a regular basis. I got a, I got a whip of it. But, man, I tell you what, man. It was it was a body high. So all the pain and stuff that you feel, or uh, uh, you know, anxiety. What I noticed was that my anxiety went down like a whole lot. Grand fact, I was asleep by nine. I was fast out. But, girl, it was amazing. It's what? Can't smoke that on a regular day. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. Second order of business was that damn hot chocolate. That little chocolate ball, I know. I didn't know. No, I did not. I didn't know that I was going to do that. I didn't know. I thought it was going to be a little piece of chocolate, I know. I didn't know. No, I didn't. No, I did not know that I was going to be participating in festivities like that. You know, because I don't even want to talk about it. Because I still ain't recovered, which is, makes me a little nervous on eating these, I know. I can't eat them. Because you know what? I get shell shocked, I know. You know, that brings me back to terms that I don't need to be terms at. No, no, hell no. I didn't know. So then, I'm mm having -hmm. Saturday night, <laughs> smoked a little bit more CBD, went to sleep. I like it. Make me go to sleep. Make my nerves calm down. And I ain't slept like that in so long. I get to rest. I get it. Let's do it. Too cool. Which led up to last night. If you follow me on Snapchat, you were there. You got participated in the festivities. Yes, you did. Now, 
me and Kish in the frat house ended up going to this little club slash bar slash sports bra bar, 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 bar sports bra girl not the sports bra sports bar slash whatever you want to call it I know girl it went down it went down Kish got lap dances all night I was up in there sweating I said wow cuz you don't sweat in the club <laughs> I was sweating at the club. I said, wow. We had an amazing time. If you follow me on Snapchat, OMG underscore AB, you would know I ain't lying. Some food. Some food. Mm -hmm. a little smack. Relax. My nerves be bad. My nerves get bad. Uh-uh. Shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. She's too grown for that. Nah. Kish had on his leopard suit, I know. <laughs> she had it was leopard. I said, wow, where are you going to the jungle? You looking fierce? <laughs> I said, wow, this is nice. It was nice. It was a nice outfit. It was. But it was a little too much for me. And she loved it. She loved she had a little belly out. I let her wear a little belly out. I know. Yes, it did. Well, I got to protect her at all costs. I got to protect her. Yes, we know. We get something now. And they sell food up in there. And by this time, what's the word I'm gonna use? I got an adult buzz. He said, So they were now, they waiting on their food. I couldn't wait. I walk on over there to Popeyes, I know. <laughs> yes, I did. In the middle of the club, I walk over there to Popeyes. I was hungry, because I went and went. No, I was not. I sat down and had me a nice little fiasco, too. You see them? I sat down and had me a little meal. I don't have time to wait on no food. No, I don't. Get a little full, cuz. Let me get to go. Let me get about here. Anyway, girl, we had the time of our lives last night. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know them little fiascos was real. Like, they, they was real. Yeah, they was real. It was, we had a real nice time. I still don't know what Kish had on, but I'm going to let her have it. She don't watch this, so I don't guarantee her to know that she know I'm talking about her little outfit. Anyway, neither here nor there. Fit to go. Didn't really have nothing to talk about today. I just knew I had to eat. And I know I can't eat without y'all. I know I cannot, cuz. Now, yeah, I got to stop saying now. It's getting on my nerves. I'm feeling a little underwater today, cuz, if you can't tell. I got a little sign that's cold. Something, something, something a headache up here. A little headache. But I won't complain. I know God is good. I know I'm going to take, take me some medicine. Because I'm eight. And, and G's going to take the pain away. I'm not worried. Hope you guys have an amazing Monday. Happy Mor Memorial Day. Hope you guys have the day off. Excuse me. Hope you guys have the day off and have an amazing day. Me, I'm going to get on up out of here. I think I'm going to take my dog to the park. Nico is doing amazing, by the way. Thank God for grace. Uh, I think he they think he got overheated. So, uh, we're waiting on the test results and all that good old stuff to come back. They don't open till tomorrow. But, uh, to the grace of God, he is doing amazing. I posted a picture on, on my story. Fit to get on up out of here, though, because I got to go. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. Let me get myself together. Get a little bit of art. You already know what it is, and you already know what it's going to be. I just hope you guys, let me see, what I got to say today. Because you know I always leave you guys with something amazing. On. <laughs> Jesus be putting it on my heart to leave you guys with something amazing. Uh, we still in May. It is still uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. I just want to remind you guys that if you're not taking care of yourself, you can't take care of anybody else. You have to love yourself before you can give somebody else your love. Make sure you're taking care of you. It is not a selfish decision because uh, what my mama used to say, if mama's not happy, nobody's happy. So all my mommies, all my dads, all my, my people, I need you guys to be happy. I need you guys to take care of yourself. Uh, anything that doesn't make you happy, get rid of it. It's simple. It is. And I know you say, well, cuz, you know, well, I've been with this person, you know, this my mom or this my, take a step back. It's okay to step, take a step back and reevaluate your situation. It's okay to take a step back and reevaluate your choices. It's okay to say no. It's okay to say no. And it's okay to change your mind when you've already told somebody, yeah, and now you don't want to go or you want to do it. It's okay. Because they don't have to deal with the consequences and they don't have to be miserable. So, cuz, I always tell you, if it ain't a hell yeah, it's a no. Get rid of those toxic people. Get rid of those toxic situations. If you're the toxic person, you need to reevaluate yourself, cuz. Because sometimes we have to take an inventory of who we are. So, I hope that this Monday brings you nothing but love, peace, joy, and happiness. And uh, take care of yourself. 
If mama not happy, nobody can be happy. Me, I'm happy. <laughs> Girl, I ain't never been this happy. I just wanna say I love you. I'm at the point of I'm so happy, I really don't give a damn what nobody else think about me. I'm here. <laughs> it was days I didn't think I would see these days. So cuz go be happy. Now, this is what it is and this is what it's gonna be. Y'all already know what it is, y'all already know what it do. God is love and don't forget to drink a beer from me. This is your favorite color. Let's get it.